Hello. So today I want to talk about law of attraction versus just being stupid. <laughs> because I feel like more and more people are getting on like the train or the hype of law of attraction. And so many people are doing it in the most stupid and ridiculous and also wrong way possible, completely missing what law of attraction is about. And also getting teachings from the absolute worst teachers that exist. So yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. So I've been seeing more and more um, people pop up on my social media where they learn about law of attraction with one sole purpose. And that sole purpose being to sell things or to gain material items. I see people all the time on Instagram and they claim that with law of attraction, you can get a $1 million car. And with law of attraction, you can get $10 million in your bank account. And with law of attraction, you will get a new bag. <laughs> like it's absolutely ridiculous, right? That is not the point of law of attraction. And it's also not what law of attraction is about. And the sad thing is that most of these people are using law of attraction as a gimmick to sell their own crap products, whether that be a self-help course, a course in, I don't know, anything. So these people are using law of attraction to attract innocent people who think it sounds like a good idea and want to learn more about it. And instead they just end up selling them these product. Psst, products. So the first thing I want to let you know is that if it's about law of attraction and it costs money, don't go there. You shouldn't have to pay to learn about law of attraction. It literally is completely abundant in the information about it on the internet. And there are better and worse teachers. Don't listen to anyone online who claims that they have something to tell you about law of attraction and then there is a hurdle of paying them money. That is literally the opposite of a law of attraction. That is just marketing. Number one, if it costs money, it's not about law of attraction. <laughs> law of attraction is extremely simple and has nothing to do with luxury cars. So what is the difference of law of attraction and being stupid? Well, law of attraction, the whole point of it is not attracting material things. Yes, they say thoughts become things, but people tend to focus on this aspect because that really serves the ego. Of course, it's such a attractive idea, the idea that you can keep your ego completely intact and just become the wealthiest person in the world by doing absolutely no work and just writing things in your diary. But that is not what law of attraction is about. The whole point of law of attraction is to change your inner world to reflect the truth of the outer world. I guess most people live in a state of a scarcity mindset or a negative mindset or a mindset of not being grateful, like believing that what we have isn't good enough, what other have is better, and that we need to accumulate more to be happy. What law of attraction tries to teach us is that this is not true. Law of attraction tries to teach us that by changing your inner world, you can be happy with what is now, no matter how terrible that is. And that is the key point is that law of attraction teaches us that you don't need a million dollars in your bank account to be happy. You can be happy, completely content. Obviously this is very hard to believe, <laughs> but you can be completely content in any state you're in because it's about letting go of the attachment to material things, which is why it's so funny to me because now law of attraction has turned into the opposite, like a really strong attachment to things. And if you're happy and content, it's a lot easier to do stuff. It's a lot easier to work for your dreams. It's a lot easier to be inspired. And hopefully you will attract things in your life. You know, if you do some internal work, the whole point is to realize the fact that everything is impermanent. You are going to die. <laughs> Material possessions don't matter. And the only thing that matter is your present experience in this moment, how you feel in this moment. So the only question to ask yourself is, how do I feel in this moment? Do I feel happy and content or do I feel unhappy and desire? Most people live in a state of desire, constant desire of more, right? We live in a very materialistic and industrial society where the whole goal of life is to accumulate more things for whatever reason. And of course, this is an empty pursuit because 
first of all, you can't take it with you when you die, and there's no happiness in material belongings. And since there's no happiness in material belongings, the pursuit of this will ultimately leave you empty and just the same as you were before, but just further away and more distracted from the true journey, which is the journey that goes on inside of us of how to be more content and how to not live in, in suffering, which is what we do. Majority of people do most of the time. Well, everyone, anyone who isn't enlightened live in constant suffering, right? That is what law of attraction tried to point to. So it's not trying to point to, um, it was not even pointing to becoming a better person. It's not pointing to your dream job or your dream partner or your dream car, anything materialistic, what it points to. It's not even pointing to your relationship to yourself. It's pointing to someone that's something that is completely selfless. So true law of attraction means letting go of attachment. Letting go of attachment ultimately means letting go of the ego, which means there can be no desire, there can be no wants, uh, there can be no expectations. So I just wanted to make this video as sort of a warning to anyone who's interested in the law of attraction, spirituality, presence, the power now, whatever you want to call it, but who is maybe stumbling in on the wrong paths. Now, law of attraction is none of that because law of attraction, true law of attraction, true spirituality is egoless, is selfless. So I just wanted to say that about law of attraction. Please do not pay people to learn about law of attraction and please do not listen to people that tell you that you should write in your diary that you want a million dollar car and that that is something to achieve or strive for because happiness will never come from material belongings or possessions or attachment. That is the definition of suffering. I was very excited to make this video because I wanted to share this thought or idea and I wanted to make sure that people can understand that law of attraction is something that you find within and you don't have to go on some course or pay money or even learn about law of attraction to realize it. You can learn about many other things and it might just uh, appear anyway. It's not something you can package and sell. So if anyone claims that they're packaging and selling it and it's, that they're, it's their version or their thing and they often use very specific wordings, um, then I would just stay far away because you're just going to lose your money and <laughs> get dragged in some ideas that ultimately aren't true. And in a community where people are very attached and very needy in the sense that they really, really want all those material possessions and they really, really think that if they get as rich as any of the big CEOs <laughs> that I don't want to name, then they will be happy main point of this is that law of attraction comes from within it has nothing to do with material possessions and yeah stay far away from anyone that claims otherwise so i think i said everything i wanted to say i'm sorry if i repeated myself too much i just think this is such an important topic and i'd love to speak more about law of attraction abundance self-help <laughs> and uh, realization in the future but that was everything I had to say today. This was my first sitting down and talking video. So thank you so much for watching it. It really means the world to me. And it's a bit scary, but it went okay, I think. Uh, yeah, and thank you so much for watching. Please comment below if you have any questions or want me to talk about anything else. And don't forget and like and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.